What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I was born to motivate you guys to be great. Hey, who's doubting themselves right now? Are you doubting yourself? Are you doubting your dreams? Are you doubting your goals? Don't doubt yourself, all right? Because I want you to know that hard work pays off. You know, don't give up the grind, guys. Don't give up. You have to see it, you know, before it happens. And if you can see it before it happens, man, I'm telling you, you will do it. So put your mind to it. Put the work to it. Put the grind to it. Put your heart into it. And I'm telling you, you're going to get the results that you've been dreaming about. So welcome back to another Pro Guys video. Bunch of Crunch Army. Where you at? You know who it is, man. It's about to go down right now. You know, so in this one, we're going to be going over five things that pro players do to improve that you're probably not doing. These are insane tips that's going to help you guys have an advantage over the rest. Who's ready for that? I know I am. Speaking of things the pros do, all right, you know what the pros do? They have coaches. Yeah. And you know where you can find coaches? Right over at ProGuys.com. I told you I got you. Where we have pro coaches, man, who can help you develop your strategy, help you build a plan to improve, and help you take your game to the next level. Make sure to check it out and save yourself some time and the hassle. But with that being said, bunch of crunch army, where you at? Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. The first thing, and one of the biggest things pros do that you're probably not doing, is efficient practice. All right, you may be thinking, I play arena, you know, I do A maps, I box fight all the time, so how does this apply to me? <laughs> uh, let me say this, buddy. It does apply to you, all right? The thing about this is that efficient practice doesn't mean just practice, but it means making the most of your time. The average player will hop into Fortnite, you know, they'll hang out, they'll mess around and create it for a bit, maybe hop into some games and call it a day. They might make efficient use of one hour out of a three hour session, and that's where the big difference is, man. So if you watch a pro player stream, like they're always doing something effective with their time, right? Whether they're one v one another pro, you know, queuing up for a scrim game, bot reviewing, or anything else along those lines, pros are always doing something to occupy their time and something to help them improve. So the bottom line is this, guys, especially if you're in school or you got a job or you have limited play time is to make the most efficient use of your time as possible. All right. And really try to make every second just count, whether you're one v one you know, or VOD reviewing or grinding arena or getting coached by a pro over on ProGuys.com. As long as you're being smart with your time. Right. And just making every second count. You're definitely on track, guys. Want to let you guys know I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I really am. Just keep up the grind. Keep going. Now, another thing almost all you guys are probably overlooking when it comes to improving is this, who you actually surround yourself with. So huge. Like our surroundings and the people we associate with have a massive impact on us. And this is not any less important when it comes to Fortnite. So to put it simply, if you're surrounding yourself with slackers or people who don't really care about improving and bettering themselves, then that's going to reflect on you. And there's a pretty high chance you're going to be worse off. Now, I'm not sitting here and I'm telling you like to burn your bridges with people in your life. I'm not saying that. This is this has to do with your gameplay, right? So you have to spot talking to people who don't really fit, you know, your mentality when it comes to the game. So when it comes to a competitive gaming standpoint, try to prioritize surrounding yourself with like-minded people who want to improve and become the best. Also, guys, look, if you're looking for a player where you can find people just like this, yo, you got to check out the Pro Guys Community Discord, which we'll link in the description, where you can find some awesome people to play with and just start putting this tip into action as soon as possible. Just don't be surrounding yourself like with any form of negativity, guys. You know, no hate or anything like that or just, you know, really just anything bad for you guys as long as you can help it, all right? Your surroundings really just shape you as a person. They really do. I say this every single week on my motivation show, you know, at, happening every Friday at 12 o'clock PST. You got to check it out, man. I'm really encouraging you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. You know, it's so important that positivity is surrounding you, all right? All right, so our third tip, and one that sort of relates to our first tip of efficient practice is consistent scheduling. Being consistent with your schedule is like one of the best ways to see consistent improvement and really be as efficient with your time as you can. What we recommend doing is developing at least a semi-strict routine for yourself, which is gonna allow you to have a bit of you know flexibility in what you do, but also keep you in check and just really make sure you're not slacking off during the time you wanna be practicing. So a good routine should include a variety of forms of practice, right? Enough practice volume, aka enough actual practice so you're going to be able to see progress and most of all it needs to be something that you enjoy doing so you can stick to a long term all right all right so here's an example of a practice routine if you're looking for a place to start you guys ready here we go 30 minutes 1v1 practice 15 minutes aim training in kovacs 10 minutes aim duels two hours arena w king 15 minutes vod reviewing taking notes on arena and 10 minutes cool down free building 
taking this routine as an example, all right, we've got a total of 200 minutes, which is basically three hours and 20 minutes. But in this time, we got so much done. Like we got some 1v1s, we got a bunch of aim training, tons of arena W key practice, some vibe reviews, and some extra time to just sharpen our mechanics at the end. So this routine is so enjoyable, guys. At least it looks like it, right? It has a variety of practice methods and enough time where you're gonna be able to see consistent progress. So this is definitely a good routine. So try structuring your routine something like that, sticking to it, and you're gonna see a ton of progress. This is one of the biggest things pros do, and it seriously makes a massive difference when playing at a high level. All right, guys, so another big thing that pros do is that they play every single event or tournament that Epic puts out. The issue, you know, with the average player is that they have a lazy mentality. They say things like, uh, yeah, I'll play the next tournament. Or, you know, this event's a W key fest anyway, like why bother? And then mindlessly just hop into creative and do nothing for two hours. So the thing about pros, guys, is that they're gonna take any opportunity that they can to gain experience and really get some high quality practice in. Even something as small as a hype night or a contender cup can actually provide some solid practice, especially if you're not at a pro level yet. So ultimately what I'm trying to say here, and I mean like right here, is that you should try and take advantage of every single event or practice opportunity that comes your way. Even if you don't like the particular format or you know you feel like the players are annoying in that cup, practice is practice, man. And not only do you have the chance of placing or even making money, but you have the chance or the opportunity to get some realistic practice you know, in an actual tournament environment. And that's something that you really can match by just simply playing arena or just doing realistic 1v1s. So next time that you see that good old Hype Night guys or Cash Cup, you know, maybe even a Dream Hack or FNCS Cup, considering taking that chance just to get some practice in, even if you don't plan on making money or placing high. All right, guys, so finally, the last one that we got on this list is one that I keep telling you guys over and over, but it's one that is so important. I'm talking about VOD reviewing. Now, some of you guys, bunch of crunch army, you know, I know you guys are out there that, lit and I literally tell you guys this all the time, but it's so important, man. I know most of you guys are not doing it. Now, I totally get how VOD reviewing is a tedious process, right? Which is why over at ProGuys.com, we recently introduced a brand new service where you can send in your replay files, guys, and a pro player is gonna review your gameplay and give you feedback within a a few hours this is just absolutely crazy <laughs> you got to check this out and you can save yourself time and get help from a real pro insanely fast if you're not interested in having a pro do it and would rather do your own vibe reviews i totally get you so the question here is this, like how can you make your VOD reviews as effective as possible even if you're doing them alone? Obviously, it's quite a bit more difficult, which is why I do recommend heading over to ProGuys.com, but it's still doable. The biggest thing that you're gonna wanna do if you're doing your own VOD review, all right, is this. You gotta start by selecting a game where you feel like you don't know where you died or a game where you struggled in. From there, like head into replay mode and just watch. Watch it multiple times over if you can. Like maybe watch your opponent's view or you know even the drone view and just figure out exactly what you did wrong and how you know you can improve. And from there, it really just comes down to just taking action. Like whether you have to put a sticky note on your monitor saying something like rotate to first zone earlier or whether you need to hop into creative and just practice an edit you messed up on. What I want you to do, guys, is really just take action instantly. And that's how you can really make your vibe review worthwhile and just see some huge improvements as a result. All right, guys, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a wrap for today's video on the top five things pros are doing that you're missing out on. If you start implementing these five tips into your gameplay, yo, I'm telling you, man, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. All right, guys, so first up, we talked about making the most out of your time online and really not letting any time go to waste. All right, after that, we talked about one of the most overlooked aspects, which is your surroundings. To put it simply, your surroundings will almost always reflect on you. So surround yourself with people who have positive mentalities and want to improve. Third up, guys, was consistent scheduling, where we went over an example routine and just talked about why it's so important to be consistent with your scheduling, right? So you can just keep yourself in check and see consistent progress. All right, fourth up, playing tournaments whenever you see them is absolutely huge when it comes to competitive. If you're trying to pursue that, guys, it's gonna give you guys some realistic, amazing practice that you won't get from creative or arena. And finally, we talked about VOD reviewing and how you can actually VOD review and also use it to improve and become a better player. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Hope you guys enjoyed this videos. Bunch of crunch army. Man, where you at? If you did, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to help us on the road of reaching 1 million subscribers. Once we reach that mark, I'm gonna be releasing my story of how I made it to where I'm at as the motivation guy. You do not wanna miss it. So tell your friends to sub to the channel, man. Spread the word because we got some really, really dope vids coming out 
out each and every day. Once again, be sure to check out ProGuys.com to find your pro coach and get some vibe reviews done. Check out our subreddit and community discord as well, which we're going to be linking down below. And a uh, bunch of crunch army. Keep eating that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going.